On today's episode, we dive a little deeper into the Formax. Okay, well, welcome back to the show. Of course, this is a first layer, and I'm your host, Richard Cleveland. And on today's show, this is part two of our look at the Formax. If you go back and watch the first episode where we actually built this lovely machine, today we're going to go into the menu system a little bit, show you exactly what the Formax has to offer you, and show you exactly how it prints. My two little buddies right there. All right, so it's time to have a look at the LCD and what we really get for our money with the Formax. Now, with the Formax, we've got the SD card on the inside of the machine right here. You just slide it in the SD card slot and away you go. And you're going to use a full-size SD card. So let's uh, go into the menu system. We'll start by going into the prepare menu, give you a look at what's in there. We've got move access, auto home, Disable steppers, preheat PLA, and preheat ABS. Now these are all the usual suspects that you're going to find usually under that menu. Uh, it does use a version of Marlin. I'm not sure exactly which one it does. I haven't seen the source code yet. But uh, just to give you an idea, when you go in to move the axis, let's go down to the Z-axis for a moment. You can see we can move it in several different increments. And this goes for all of the axis. We can move it in 10 millimeters, 1 millimeter, or 0.1 millimeter um, uh, movements. So we're just going to get out of there and go back to our prepare menu. And now you can also go down to control. Your next uh, selection is there. And that's where you're going to find setting temperatures, your motion, filament, storing your settings. So the EEPROM is turned on. If you're making any changes on this menu, you can actually save them to the EEPROM and they will be there the next time you go to use the machine. Uh, there is a resume from power out or from outage. What that simply means is that when the power goes out, and we had a power failure here the other night, um, this is going to write to the card, the SD card, the last location in which it was at. So when you come back in, it will turn back on, and it will ask you, do you want to resume your print? You'll just say yes or no. If you say yes, it's going to resume the print exactly from where it left off. And uh, below that, we have print from the SD card. So you're going to go down to Files, English, Formax to get into the sample owls. It's the pair of owls. And uh, right now, we're going to cut to a little time lapse of the owls printing. Okay, so that's our look at the Anycubic 4MAX 3D printer kit. Hope you guys liked it. Now remember, if you like the content on the show, be a champ and buy me a coffee buy, at buymeacoffee.com slash the first layer. And if you'd like to support the show on a more regular basis, you can go check out our Patreon page at Patreon dot com slash the first layer now as always we want to thank spool 3d for letting us in their showroom today to show you what the anycubic formax is capable of if you need printers accessories or even filament check out spool 3d.ca print it right print it with spool 3d.ca now that's the end of today's show so we're going to see you guys again on friday where we do you know our regular kind of talk about Although this Friday, we're going to be at the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo, so we're going to try and do a live stream just for you guys over on YouTube. Unfortunately, we can't stream to multiple sources, uh, so we can only pick one because we're using my phone. 
and uh, will be on YouTube uh, with their live streaming capability right on my phone. So we will see you again on Friday from the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo. And remember, until next week, the first layer is always your foundation to a great print.